Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can deploy your ASP.NET Core web application on Heroku, which is a cloud hosting service provider and it provides services like platform as a service or infrastructure as a service. It can be used to host applications built in a wide range of programming languages like PHP, Node.js, Python, etc. You can learn more about it and how it works by going to its website, which is Heroku.com. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And by doing that, you will be able to receive the news of all the new video uploads which I am doing every now and then on a regular basis. So let's come to the coding part. The first thing which I will do is I will create a new ASP.NET Core web application which I will um, deploy to the Heroku servers and let's name it .NET Core Heroku now this is going to be a very simple application with just a single HTML page because I am just going to demonstrate to you guys how you can deploy it so I will try not to make it too complicated for you guys to understand So the first thing which I will do is in this www root folder I will add a new item which is going to be an HTML file. Let's name it index.html. Now in this I'm just going to write a message like hello world from .NET Core and now to use this index.html we need to make some changes to the startup.cs these changes include giving directions to the dotnet core framework that we want to use the static files so for that we need to call these two functions from the configure method which is um, use default files and then app.use static files this will prompt the .NET Core framework to use the index.html instead of um, giving the response as any kind of text message. So let's run the application and see if the web page is being shown or not. And after that, we will proceed to um, actually start the process to deploy the application on Heroku. So the application is working and I guess we can now move on to the next part which is deploy this entire app on Heroku. So for that uh, what you need to do is you need to create an account on Heroku and after you will do that you will be presented with um, a screen like this. So right now I have not created any kind of application and for that I will create a new app by clicking on this button create a new app i can give it a name let's name it i guess dotnet core heroku it needs to be unique and it is available so we can create this application so there are actually a number of ways in which we can host applications on heroku the first one is by using the Heroku get CLI so what it will do is it will simply um, allow us to use the um, git or, or any kind of git tool to upload our coding files or project files to Heroku the second one is we can connect to github to um, directly use any kind of repository to um, you know commit the changes and then uh, push the changes to Heroku and the third one which I am going to use is the um, is by using the containerized apps by um, using the um, docker application so what happens is um, if you don't know already docker is a tool which uh, basically creates virtual machines which are called as containers and the entire applications run in those virtual machines so the thing is that those containers can be hosted on a variety of different um, hosting providers and they contain everything which they need they don't need any kind of infrastructure support from outside of those containers so for an example if 
they need any kind of uh, operating system to run on then the virtual machine will have its own operating system it will have its own um, installation of any kind of coding libraries or any other stuff which it, which it needs so i'm going to use docker to do that so because asp.net core is platform independent we can create the virtual machines of even linux too and then we can run on the we can run the asp.net core application on those linux based containers so that's um, what i'm going to do here the first thing which you will need to do you will need to install the um, docker so docker basically comes in two variants for windows the first one is docker for windows um, for windows 10 professional installations and then because i have uh, windows 10 home installed i had to install um, actually i had to install docker toolbox so when you will click on this download for windows then you will be presented with those options So yeah, um, I, I mean this uh, this Docker installation will not work for you. You will need to search for Docker Toolbox. It should be here somewhere. But in any case, when you will install Docker Toolbox on your system, like I have done, then you will be presented with a CLI, which will look something like this when you will run it for the first time. It will be an icon on your desktop. I'm not really sure how this entire thing uh, looks like for the um, actual installation of Docker for Windows. There is a reason that the Docker uh, for Windows cannot be installed on Windows Home Edition because um, what happens is Docker requires Hyper-V to create virtual machines and Windows Home does not come shipped with Hyper-V. So Docker Toolbox uses VirtualBox instead of Hyper-V. But we don't really need to be concerned about that for this video because we are just going to um, deploy the application on Heroku instead of trying to run it locally on on this system. So. Yep, coming back to the um, Docker CLI, this is the uh, window which will be presented when the Docker CLI will be run for the first time or for any number of times after that. So it has created a virtual machine and it is using that, but um, we we are not going to use it. We will be using the Heroku's CLI, which you will need to download if you want to be able to host the application on Heroku. So there are some instructions given over here how you can down how you can install it and then how you can use it after the, after that so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add a docker file to this project and i can do that by right clicking on the project and then going to the add menu and then clicking on the docker support so i'm just going to select linux after that, I'm just going to remove everything from over here because we just need to push everything to Heroku instead of specifying the exact assembly names. So instead of having all of that, I'm just going to uh, provide commands to copy everything and then use the DLL for our project, which will be named as this one, .NET Core Heroku. After that, I will go to the folder of this project and then actually not the folder i think i can do that from this folder to where the solution resides so what i need to do is i will need to build this entire solution in the uh, release mode so for that i will open the git i'm sorry the bash terminal and then um, i will use the uh, .NET command to build it in the in release mode so actually build and publish it so that uh, whenever it will be published then it will be placed into a special directory which we will use to push the, uh, the the build application to Heroku so this is the mode and then when I will click enter then the dotnet is working to build and publish it and now it has been done now it can be found in this bin release and then netcore app 2.1 and then this publish folder so we need to push all of these things which are over here into the um, into the docker hosting environment and to do that i am going to um, copy this docker file from over here and then i will have to paste it over here and then after that what we need to do is um, we need to use the heroku cli to actually push the application to heroku 
and for that I'm going to use this uh, this quick start terminal of docker so let's do that and the first thing which we need to do is we need to um, log in into Heroku so I have actually already done that so I don't think I will need to provide my credentials but still I can check if I am logged in or not so to do that I can enter this command Heroku container login So I have been logged in successfully now after that I will need to create a docker image and then I will need to uh, build the release of the project into that image so that that image that docker image can then be used to, um, to host the application on Heroku so let's do that for that I will need to use the docker command docker build hyphen D and then I will need to provide the name of the application which we have created and the name is this one dotnet core heroku dotnet core heroku and then we will need to provide the path of this publish folder so let's copy it and then let's paste it over here now um, we need to modify this path so that this can be used correctly so for that I'm just going to add extra backward slashes just bear with me for a moment and then all right so this command will use the docker file which we have copied over here and it will use the instructions which we have provided in the docker file when I will press enter then you can see that it is building so it has been built the next thing which we need to do is we need to um, create a tag for our image for this docker image to do that we can again use the docker command and then we need to use the tag argument provide the name of the application which is dotnet core um, heroku and then we need to provide the path of the registry where it will be registered this docker image so registry.heroku.com and then again let's write the name of the application which we have created which is dotnet core and then hyphen heroku and then we need to write web after this to be able to deploy the application let's press enter it's done now after this we need to publish our image to the heroku's um, registry where we have um, tagged our docker image so let's do that I'm sorry docker and then let's push everything to the Heroku registry for our app so registry dot heroku.com and then forward slash and the name of the application which is dotnet core hyphen Heroku and then again we will need to write web after this because we are using this folder to deploy everything so let's do that so I guess it is not allowing us to push the contents I guess I have made a mistake in the spelling over here so let's see if we can correct it I'm just going to fix the typo over here and then let's push again or try to push again right now it's working correctly so um, this time it is actually uploading all the contents to the Heroku's servers and it is going to take a while so I'm just going to pause the video while it is um, uploading everything and then I will unpause it when the contents have been uploaded so the upload is about to finish and when it will be done then we will need to execute another command which will be to um, release the application maybe a few seconds I don't know right so it's done now we will still not be able to see the application running on the Heroku server 
and I will show you so when I will click this open app then um, we are still um, seeing the Heroku's welcome page instead of our application and now to finally be able to see the application we need to run another command which is Heroku container and then release web and then we need to provide the argument app and then name of the application which is .NET Core Heroku and that should be pretty much it I guess releasing images web to .NET Core Heroku so now it's done and we can check if the app is working or not let's just open it again so now you can see the message hello world from .NET Core which we actually wrote in the HTML file the index.html so our application has been successfully deployed to Heroku so this is a very simple app and we don't need to provide a number of different settings for the um, docker file configuration which we used over here but if we are using a number of different um, dependencies or different kinds of libraries I don't know different installation of different tools which this application uh, will rely upon then you may need to um, write some more things over here if you need to um, copy some um, dependencies to different folders or you need to I don't know build something and then deploy it to somewhere again the possibilities are endless they basically depend on the requirement of the project on which we are working but in any case our default application has been deployed and that was the goal of this video so I will um, end it over here and if you think you like the video or if you think that you have understood what I'm trying to say then please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and also like the video and I will see you in the next one till then have a great day